Hello everybody and welcome to race 10 of our 200 subscriber special season here at the Darlington Raceway for the Goodyear 400. Martin Truex Jr. and Austin Sindrick start in the front row as we are underway here at Darlington. Truex on the inside with the early jump here over Sindrick, got a couple of Hendrick cars and Michael McDowell behind them. And now Truex clear for the race lead, Bowman is second, Austin Sindrick is in third as they race down the back third here at Darlington. Todd Gillen stuffed it in the fence back there. Into the wall goes to 38, but we are fine. We stay green. We continue. Just damaged is Todd Gilliland, of course. Everyone continuing to race hard for position here. Cindric on the inside of Truex. No success. And Truex holds the lead here and leads the opening lap of racing in Darlington. As everyone continues to battle as hard as they can for each and every position on the racetrack. Cindric now on the inside of Truex looking for the race lead. No luck. Truex is running the outside lane. Will prevail. And Martin Truex Jr. back in the lead here at Darlington. The stages for this race are 55, 55, and 64, so stage 1 is on lap 55, stage 2 ends on lap 110, and the final stage, of course, ends on the last lap of the race. So Martin Truex Jr. leads the opening two laps here at Darlington. Now we're on to lap 26, looking back through the field, and oh, we got a crash! Eric Almarola is crashing and multiple cars are involved! Uh, uh, Christopher Bell, Denny Hamlin, Brad Keselowski collected in a big instance. What happened here? It looks like on the exit of turn four, Kevin Harvick hooks Kyle Larson down the racetrack. Larson goes spinning the wall, and then Amarola gets turned by Haley into Dylan, and from there it's on, and cars are crashing all over the place. Big hits by Briscoe damage, Suarez, Bubba, Stenhouse piling into each other. Big contact throughout the field here at Darlington. See right there, Harvick dumps Larson, and then Amarola gets hooked by Austin Dillon and Justin Haley. He goes crashing. Christopher Bell gets hit by Eric Jones. Denny Hamlin spins into Tyler Reddick. Brad Keselowski gets sent in the back there with Chase Briscoe. Bubba Wall. So this is the first big wreck of the night here in Darlington. All starts with the lap car. Cody Ware holding up these cars, and then seeing Kyle Larson go hooked by Kevin Harvick and spun into the inside wall. And then Austin Dillon turns Eric Almarola. And from there, everyone behind him stacking up. They got nowhere to go, and everyone's just piling into each other. And it's the big one. Here at Darlington, so we're under caution for a crash involving multiple cars. So a lot of Fords and Toyotas in this one. And a lot of cars will be knocked out of the race from this incident. Kyle Larson will be out of the race. Brad Keselowski is going to be out after this. A lot of damaged race cars. But mo remarkably, most of the guys are going to stay in this race. But I think some of the guys who got hit back there, like the 23 and all that, might, they might be out of the race as well. So meanwhile, back to front of the field after the big wreck right there. It is Martin Truex Jr. leading the field. As I go back to green here on lap 31, Truex still out front, Cindric second, Elliott third. But you can see the stack ups being caused by the lap cars of Yaley and Ware. As the slow Rick Ware racing lap cars are causing absolute chaos here at Darlington. There's Daniel Hemrick, Ryan Blaney, Joy Logano trying anything they can to avoid getting wrecked by Zachary's Blaney on the bottom. What a save by Ryan Blaney. He nearly rushed right there, but he gets clear of Hemrick and they continue on racing. Wow, this is hard racing. You see the lap cars, everyone being aggressive here. There's the 15, Yaley up holding guys up back here. Cody Ware also stocking up a whole line of vehicles. Very close racing and very close to being a wreck here. And now, oh, everyone going 3 4 on the bottom. There's a 40 to Bowman. And Michael McDowell down the road goes Bowman. And the outside wall. And the Custer upside down goes Cole Custer flipping down the front stretch. He gets slammed by Eric Jones. And Corey LaJoy involved as well. And we have a big pile up. This year, the 40 hits the wall. And look at the hit from Cole Custer. A huge hit. And I'll just cut. And then Custer gets in the air. And then Eric Jones slams Cole Custer, flipping him upside down. And of course, knocking Cole Custer out of tonight's race with this huge hit. Really all caused by a stack up there by Cody Ware. Everyone didn't know where to go. Bowman got into McDowell. McDowell hooked Bowman and into the wall hard. Nowhere for Cole Custer. Eric Jones going. And Cole Custer goes tumbling. Tyler Reddick, very lucky to avoid slamming into Cole Custer but a huge flip for Cole Custer so man, big one number two here in this chaotic Darlington race so far see right there just the hook and then right there Bowman's lost control and Custer almost made it through and just that was a just hellacious hit by Cole Custer and Eric Jones significant damage as well so here's full speed replay
And so, under caution for Cole Custer being flipped down the front stretch. Meanwhile, back at the front, it remains to be Martin Truex Jr. holding a firm lead over the field. And now we're going to move on to the restart here on lap number 38 with Truex in the lead. Joey Logano in second, Ross Chastain in third, Denny Hamlin in Chase Elliott back for fourth, and oh, Yaley, where they're already crashing, get hard in the wall, there goes Justin Haley, we got another big crash, Michael McDowell involved, Kyle Busch, Eric Jones, the Harvick, Bowman, Amarola maybe, is what happened here, as it looks like Harvick gets in the bumper, Justin Haley spins him off the track, hard on the wall, and he clips McDowell, they go spinning, and McDowell clips Kyle Busch, and the 48 only gets minimal damage, so mainly the hard hits go to Kevin Harvick, Justin Haley, Michael McDowell, and Kyle Busch. It's all stacked up by the 24, William Byron. Now that the Ford hooked the 31, and nowhere for everyone else to go back here trying to avoid it. Big hit there for Michael McDowell, and Kyle Busch as well gets involved in his first incident of the day. So here you go. Our third wreck in a row here. A consecutive restarts right there. Byron got hooked by Haley. Then Haley got hooked by Harvick. And they collected the rest of them at the back of the field here. RCR cars escaped narrowly. I'm going to get a last full speed look at it here. We look back towards the front of the field where they've actually been keeping it pretty clean and not been wrecking themselves all over the place like the back half of the field has been. He was watching the Ailey lap car, nothing seems to be happening there, and it is Truex leading back to the lines. Now we go back underway on lap 43. It is a 9 of Chase Elliott leading some strategy here, and Chase Elliott's in lead. We already got the Children's Boys, Austin Dillon's in the fence big time. Comes down the track, nearly causes a big accident right there. Everyone holds on. The Boston Dillon just absolutely stuffs in the fence, and that held up Martin Truex Jr. in the 19. Big issues for Truex right there. As looking at Yaley and Ware. Look back here. They're three, four wide all over the place. Close scores here. Byron, Busher, Logano fighting hard for position. That is the battle for 10th place. As we see these lab cars still. They're still three wide up there. Kurt Busch, Tyler Reddick, and Corey LaJoy almost get into each other. They kept it going in the right direction somehow. As we focus on Yaley here. Here's how he's holding up these guys. And oh, Joy the Gunsay. Right Whoa! Trucks Austin Dillon. We got Ricky Stenhouse coming down pit road. Whoa, Justin Hansen. Oh, they're crashing big time with the front. There goes Martin Truex is involved. Logano, Hamlin, Kyle Bush, Briscoe, Haley, the big one strikes again in Darlington. We can barely get a lap completed before the whole field just wads up. It looks like Corey LaJoy. Got turned by Kyle Busch in turn three and up the race track. He also Dylan helped him and bang right at the 18 to Kyle Busch in the dominant car of the day. Martin Truex destroyed. Yaley took a big hit. Logano, Denny Hamlin, fast cars destroyed. Chase Briscoe heavily damaged. Eric Jones, Justin Haley. Ross Chastain was involved by the show. And look at that hard hit right there by JJ Yaley. That was a lick. He just slammed the inside pit wall so hard that he climbed the wall a little bit. He got his bumper up on the top of the wall. See damage to Chastain back there. William Byron. And see right there. Everyone's just piling in. The look at the 48 of Bowman scoot right through the middle. What a very lucky wreck avoidance for Bowman right there. Somehow avoided that wreck. That was a miracle for him. But right here, I just can't believe Martin Truex Jr. He just got put back after pit cycle. And it was right in the middle, caught up hard in this wreck. A big hit, and that might de derail Truex's speed and fast car for the night. You see everyone else is piling in. McDowell takes damage as well. Cody Ware, Eric Almerol also have some very little damage. Here we see it again here. You see right there, it just happens right at the front. And now we're going to see what happens for everything from Jordan Gansby. Look at the hit JJ Yaley takes. That's such a huge hit. That will knock JJ Yaley, JJ Yaley out of the race. So that's one less slow Rick Ware car that we will have to deal with for the rest of the night. But... The more cars are going to keep dropping out if we keep having crazy big big wrecks like this. Joe Gibbs Racing was absolutely destroyed that wreck, except Christopher Bell. He's the only one who was not involved in this incident. The rest were, and you can see the big hits all around. So here's another look at it. Kevin Harvick, Alex Bowman sneaking their way through. Bowman and Kyle Busch almost hitting each other back there. 
And you're just Chase Elliott. And now we go back underway on lap 49 here at Darlington. We were supposed to get Chase Elliott, but he's at the back of the field. We only have like 20, 22 cars left in this race at this point. But so many Oh, whoa, cars are going everywhere, all over the place. Christopher Bell goes to block. Chris Busher, there goes Christopher Bell. Bell goes spinning into turn three up the racetrack. And a huge hit into Eric Jones. Oh, big hit for Bowman and Austin Dillon. A huge huge four car wreck here at Darlington that's gonna take out Bowman Jones and Dylan from the race oh Harvey gets stuffed in the fence but Bell came right up the track of the 43 got t-boned by the 48 who got slammed right in the engine by Austin Dillon the three and the 48 and the 43 are definitely done for the night that leave us with less than 20 cars left in this race now I see right there, Christopher Bell just went to block Chris Busher. Chris Busher didn't lift, and he just hooked Christopher Bell. Sent him spinning, and he went right up the track, and a huge hits behind him. Destroyed the 3 and the 48. The 43 might be able to continue, but the 3 and the 48 are completely done. With terminal damage to the engines. You see here the slow-mo replay. Christopher Bell is trying to make a move to get behind Cody Ware and escape him. I mean, Chris Busher just didn't lift when Christopher Bell came down in front of him and just sent him. And the 20 went around, and when you go down the track like that, you know he's going to come right back up into the 43. More damage to Kevin Harvick, the 48, the 3. But Chase Elliott, Ryan Blaney, very lucky to avoid that. Two top contenders for the race win tonight. Barely avoid. Bowen was up in third when this happened. He was having a good, good run. But then the wrecks happened, and nowhere for anyone else to go. Bang! Huge hits for these guys here at the back. And under caution for another big crash at Darlington. And now we move towards the front of the field. It is Ross Chastain leading at Darlington. As now we move on to lap 54. Here we go. Coming to the last lap of stage one here at Darlington. It is Chris Busher battling Eric Almarola for the stage win, followed by Bellaney in third. Uh, Justin Haley fourth, Sindrick fifth. So now it is Busher versus Almarola side by side, heading down the back straight away as we get the yellow command ready. Down the back stretch, side by side. Chris, we see Christopher Bell and Stenhouse spinning. Chris Busher gets clear of Almarola and Blaney. Looks like he'll cruise to his stage win here as they go through turn three and four for the final time here in Darlington. We are going to toss the yellow, and Chris Busher will win stage one at Darlington, followed by Blaney, Almarola, Sindrick, Haley, Hamlin, McDowell. Elliott and Kurt Busch, the top 10 at Darlington in stage one. So your stage winner, Chris Busher. Now we begin stage two here on lap 80 is, or lap, lap 60. It is Martin Truex Jr. back in the lead. Chris Busher nearly got hooked by Eric Almarola right there. Barely avoiding, oh, Harvick Christopher Bell with three wide, almost wrecking right there. We see Cindric Elliott, a couple guys getting sacked up behind or the slow car of Eric Jones back there. Look at Daniel Hemrick. Corey LaJoy, there's Cody Ware. All really too close for comfort back here. But we make it a lap under green, which is a miracle. And what has been an absolute wreck fest of a Darlington race with cars flipping and all kinds of whoa! Corey LaJoy nearly got turned by Kevin Harvick right there. That was extremely close, and now Cody Ware almost gets hooked by Chris Busher, who's trying to make his way back up to the front of the field. Chase down second place, Kevin Harvick. He makes his way by the 51 now. As we look behind them, the 31, the 20, that looks closer. There they go. Christopher Bell is crashing in the background. Justin Haley's into the wall. Chastain around. Byron into the wall. Denny Hamlin involved. Cindric involved. And Blaney got some damage as well. And another caution for another wreck here down the front straight away. Justin Haley hooks Christopher Bell into Blaney, who saves it. And 31 comes down the, off the track into the 11, sends the 1 spinning down on the inside, and 24 slams the inside wall and comes up into the 2 who gets hooked by the 9. They make contact. So big hits here at Darlington. As multiple pileups is causing absolute mayhem. See right there, the 31 hooks the 20, and boom, right down into the 12, and back into the wall, and nowhere for Chastain, Denny Hamlin, and William Byron to go. Just instant bystanders collecting this incident. Cindric, of course, sustains that damage from Elliot, hooking him down into Elliot's teammate, William Byron. So here we go, slow-mo replay. Classic case of a hook on the rear quarter panel gone wrong, and see big hit there on the side of Chastain into Denny Hamlin. Everyone just trying to survive the race at this point. Because basically whoever survives is going to have, if there's anyone that's like undamaged, they're going to have a good shot of winning this thing. But I can barely think of anyone that's undamaged. See right there, 
Blaney just had a little bit of contact, but props to Blaney avoiding that and not being hit big time by Christopher Bell and spinning out up the racetrack, which would have been much worse, possibly detrimental to his run. And so Martin Truex still comfortably in the lead in Darlington. Now back on the restart on lap 87. It is now Chris Busher who has gone ahead of Martin Truex. Oh, we have a crash in the back. We are under caution once again here at Darlington. The cautions, they just keep coming. They don't stop. It's it's too much to right here. William Byron gets oh right there. Kurt Busch gets hooked in. Byron gets spun into the wall by Austin Sindrick. Nothing crazy. Damage to them. Elliot, a little bit of damage, but everyone's okay. Caution is out. Everyone continues on. I see Cody Ware here. See if he's gonna cause another wreck. Lap cars have caused literally everything today. In contact with Daniel Hemrick there. He, everyone holds on to it. We'll make it back to the line cleanly. And Chris Busher leads. As in now we are back underway on lap 72. Chris Busher still leading. Truex second, Blaney third, Reddick fourth, Harvick fifth as Busher racing the lap car. Daniel Hemrick hard for position. Truex almost up in the fence right there. Racing. Oh, we got a big crash in the back. Eric Alvarola upside down. Harvick and Kurt Busch involved as well. Chastain also collected damage. Look at the 10 go tumbling down. Turn one and two here at Darlington after some big hits with Kevin Harvick and Kurt Busch. So let's see how this transpired. In the turn one and two, Kurt Busch hooks Harvick down right down a huge shift for the 10 hour Eric Alvarola, and he goes slipping twice, three times, four times, five times into the catch fence and rolls to a stop on the racetrack. Eric Alvarola will definitely be out of this race because that was a huge, vicious hit. Harvick went right and Alvarola went head on in the wall, launched him upside down, and that hit Kurt Busch, sent him around and sent Chastain into the wall. And Alan Roller just went tumbling, made contact with the catch fence and the top of the safer barrier as Eric Jones barely escapes. And just the carnage continues at Darlington. Chase Elliott also very lucky to not get collected. And same as Michael McDowell. A lot of these guys barely avoiding this as Eric Alan goes up and over. And a vicious crash here in Darlington. Our second flip, if you count... Busy of Eric Alvarola now and Cole Custer flipped earlier. So it's two SHR cars have flipped tonight. Now here comes Truex for the lead on, on the underneath on underneath Chris Busher coming back to the line. Truex will beat Busher to the line and he'll be scored as your race leader for the restart. And oh, we're crashing again. Michael McDowell, Cody Ware, Chase Elliott, and Justin Haley down the front stretch. They had just avoided Eric Alvarola flipping. Then Ware gets hooked by Bell and Elliott, and there they all go. And McDowell, minor damage, and Justin Haley doesn't lift and T-bones Cody Ware. A huge hit there for the 51 and the 31 as this absolute mayhem and carnage continues here at Darlington. What is going on this race? Elliott turned the wall into Ware by Bell. Reddick pretty much escapes, and then McDowell just a little bit of damage. He's okay. He just gets spun around, and then of course Ware gets T-boned big time by Justin Haley, who didn't lift. I think that might be the end of the night for the 31 of Justin Haley, who's been involved in numerous incidents tonight, as well as Ware. Oh, looks like the 31's gonna be able to continue. Maybe we'll see. As Truex is leading, as now we move on to lap 110, last lap of stage 2, Truex comes down pit road in a move that could prove costly for his hopes for the race win. Now Blaney, as we toss the old command, now all your leaders are coming down pit road during a green flag stop cycle, so Blaney and Byron, the question is will someone beat them back to the line to get the stage 2 win? Blaney and Elliott both come in, Sindrick looks like he'll be the one to stay out as he races back to the line, Austin Sindrick wins stage 2 at Darlington. And then the rest you can assume is Ryan Blaney, Chase Elliott, William Byron, Chris Buescher, Truex, Hamlin, Chastain, McDowell, and Tyler Reddick, your top 10 here at Darlington as Truex wins stage 1, but Sindrick wins stage 2, Austin Sindrick. So now we begin the final stage on lap 116. Ryan Blaney has already escaped from the rest of the pack and is looking to try to run away with his first win of the year. Elliott is second. William Byron's back there fighting for third. We only have 15 cars left in the race, really only 14 competitively as Bell's is going around the pits every two laps. So Ryan Blaney is going to take his way here, and Blaney will lead this lap. And now we move on to White Flag Final Lap presented by Credit One Bank at Darlington for Ryan Blaney. He has dominated the final stage ever since he got the lead and is now looking to comfortably cruise to victory with only five cars on the lead lap and his teammate Cindric four seconds back in second place. So Ryan Blaney now 
Down the back stretch for the final time in the turn three and four. He went winless in 2022 in real life, made the playoffs to the round of eight, but did not advance the championship four. And now Ryan Blaney will check off one of those boxes as he will win at Darlington. Blaney's into the playoffs. Austin Sindrick comes home second. Chase Elliott comes home third. Martin Truex Jr. comes home fourth. Chris Buescher rounds out your top five. And then Byron McDowell, Hamlin, Chastain, right the top ten. Ryan Blaney, your winner tonight in Darlington by surviving the wrecks and having the fastest car in the final stage to bring home the victory. Truex dominated the night, but Blaney capitalized when it mattered most. As you see, the race results also outside your screen. 15 cars finished. Christopher Bell was 55 laps down. Only five cars finished on the lead lap in the end of it. After an absolute wreck fest at Darlington. And now we view the playoff standings. Of course, Kyle Busch, Austin Cedric, Austin Dillon, Kevin Harvick, Mike McDowell, Christopher Bell, Chase Elliott are now joined by Ryan Blaney, who's our eighth different winner of the season in the playoffs. And on points, Kyle Larson, Joy Logano, Ross Chastain, Chris Busher, Bubba Wallace, Cole Custer, Martin Truex Jr. are all above the cut line comfortably on points. Whereas Eric Allen Roll is in a three-way tie at the cut line, where he is 16th, and he is tied with William Byron and Alex Bowman. And Ty Dillon's minus 15, and Eric Jones is minus 18. So until our next episode, where we have racing from the Indianapolis Road Course, I hope you all have a good one.